the States. Haven't done a beer review in a while. Um, I was able to pick up some of my favorite breweries uh, while I was on my way down to Florida. And the one I'm doing today is actually my favorite brewery, Allagash. And we've got a uncommon beer today, um, the Uncommon Crow. Uh, pretty cool name. I love their, their bottles, obviously. Um, most of their specialty beers come with a cork. This one is ale fermented um, with the bread and the myces yeast and aged on blackberries. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but a lot of times you'll see it just say bread, I guess, so people don't sound like an idiot. But uh, it's a type of yeast strain that gives um, a lot of like sour beers that really um, tangy uh, taste. Um, I know you people like the word effervescent that and uh, just kind of like that sour flavor that they'll um, age along with the uh, the beer in there and I'll read the beer for you the label this beer was inspired by the common American crow's love for blackberries didn't know that um, beagles love blueberries in case you didn't know that uncommon crow's aromas of dark chocolate and cherries bloom into big blackberry flavor and a slightly tart finish we brew this beer with two row barley Midnight wheat, raw wheat, and rye malt before adding a blend of Pearl, Glacier, and Simcoe hops. The beer is fermented exclusively with our house strain of local Brett yeast. After six months in a stainless tank, we add blackberries. Like its namesake, Uncommon Crow carries a dusky hue. Over the following five months, Uncommon Crow continues to ferment and develop its luscious, uncommon flavors. This is the Allagash Brewing Company out of Portland, Maine my personal all-time favorite brewery um just barely edging out sierra nevada for that i would say it's 7.1 percent says open cautiously contents under pressure um pretty excited to try this i love um kind of like sour ales and especially ones that have fruity flavors so without further ado try not to hit anyone with this Ooh, right away, you get like a really beautiful berry note, uh, dark berries. Very fizzy. <laughs> um, really looking forward to trying this. Interesting. I thought it would be more of a, a blackberry, kind of a bluish color to it. But as you can see, it looks kind of like a dark, strong ale there. Um, not a lot of head to it. Beautiful smell. Just smells, uh, you smell that yeast strain, just really kind of that tart, um, bitter kind of finish. Oh, it smells delicious. This is one of my favorite types of beer. Um, Uncommon Crow, again, is the name. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, makes you pucker. That's good. That's nice and sour. I like that. Um, it's really good. Uh, the blackberry flavor, it's not too pronounced. You definitely taste it, but it's not just like a sweet kind of berry beer that some breweries do with like wheat ales. They'll just like load it full of berries so it tastes really sweet and everyone likes it. People who don't drink beer. This is not that. Um, this is very much a tart, sour beer first with uh, hints of blackberries. But a very pleasant, sweet flavor to go along with that. Um, big fan of this beer. They've got some very unique ones. I've actually got two more that I'm going to be doing here in the next couple days. Um, it looks like they give a lot of their employees a chance to make their own beer and kind of come up with a lot of the, the themes and names and uh, what they're going to add to the beers. So it looks really neat. Um, not sure who came up with this one in Allagash, but it's very good. They like to add a lot of their local fruits um, from the main area that I've noticed. 
I've got one that's got, it's just loaded with different fruits and uh, it's aged for, I want to say like a couple of years or something. But this beer, Uncommon Crow, it's not the best sour I've had. Um, really tasty, I like it. Very refreshing. I would give this an 8.4. I really like it, it's very good. Um, it's not my absolute favorite, you know, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you, um, but definitely one that I would buy if I saw it on sale. I don't think this was too outrageous. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of $10, which I think it's well worth that price. Um, so thank you for watching. Next brewery is gonna be, well, who knows, we'll see. But I'll keep the reviews coming. Uh, thanks for watching.